Evaluate the difference quotient for the given function f of x equals 2 over x. Okay, so let's work this out. Solution. So the first thing we'll do is we'll write down the difference quotient. So the difference quotient is always f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h. Now all we have to do is work out each piece individually. So for this first piece here, f of x plus h, that I've just circled, all we have to do is replace all of the x's with x plus h's. So instead of 2 over x, it's 2 over x plus h. Then we keep the minus sign, so minus. And then we have f of x over here. Well, f of x is what we started with, so that's just 2 over x. It's all being divided by h. Okay, so in the next part, what we'll do is we still have h on the bottom, and then we're going to write down the LCD for the numerator. That's just going to be x plus h times x. So I'm going to write it here. So it's x plus h times x. And now when we do the subtraction, you just think. Here it's going to be 2. And then you ask yourself, what's missing here to get the LCD? Well, we're missing the x. So x. And then minus, and then 2. And then again, you ask yourself, what's missing here to get the LCD? So x plus h. All of this is in parentheses. This is equal to. So now we have 2x. Now we'll distribute the minus 2. So negative 2 times x is negative 2x. And negative 2 times h is negative 2h. All of this is over x plus h times x. And it's all being divided by h. Parentheses. These cancel. Okay, so we're left with, I'll write it down here, negative 2 over h over x plus h. x over h. Completely ridiculous. <laughs> So we're taking all of this stuff and we're dividing by h. So when you do that, when you divide by h, you really multiply by the reciprocal of h. So you keep the top piece, I'm going to write it again, times and then 1 over h. Because it's really h over 1 on the bottom, so the reciprocal is 1 over h. The h is cancel, and we end up with negative 2 over x plus h times x. And that's the difference quotient. I hope that helped.